guys and welcome back to my channel as you can see i'm in my kitchen i want to quickly cook and do some stuff but we are going to cook while we were talking like we are cooking at the same time uh talking in today's video i want to reply quickly to one of my subscribers one of my viewers who asked about what question are uh, asked during the turkish visa interview i want to give you my own experience and also i want to give you some of the questions that i was asked when i was applying for turkish visit visa in kenya so welcome if you're new and let me show you what i'm cooking quickly as you can see i have some mushroom here this is a turkish mushrooms and also i have some minced meat i have some tomatoes i have some onions and more onions and i have this water that is actually cooking on this small pot so normally what i normally do is actually to put them here so that we can talk i'm gonna boil them here for five minutes and then we continue talking okay so while we are waiting for the food to boil i'm also going to be removing these these are small onions uh, i'll be adding so we can cook while we talk so i applied for turkish visa uh, visit visa during uh, my time when i was still in kenya i wanted to come to turkey and i wanted to visit this beautiful country and it was uh, denied the first time i i actually uh, tried to do what to apply and the reason why it was denied it was because I used an agent who used fake documents so the very first point I want to share with you is when you are applying for any visa be it a Turkish visa be it US visa be it any type of vis visa do not use any fake documents and also do not uh, try as much as possible to do it by yourself without using an agent okay and I'm not trying to say that uh, most agents do, do this. I know they are all uh, there are good agents here in the world and they can process your visa so quickly and so fast. But the agent that I used, it was some years back, I think three years ago. Um, he did he did his job, but he was not genuine enough. And uh, because I, it was my first time actually trying to apply for Turkish visa, I had little information and also I did not do my research accordingly. That's why I ended up using an agent who actually used bank statements that were fake. He indicated on the documents that I was working, selling uh, in a boutique. And then uh, my average or my, my, my monthly uh, earnings or my monthly uh, salary during this time he indicated 2000 uh, 200,000 Kenyan shillings that is around two two thousand dollars or something uh, and then when I went to the interview now the day of the interview I had my papers I had the preservations like the the form for visa application I had my passport I had my stamped documents for itinerary travel itinerary insurance on and all those stuff according to the visa uh, requirements for tourists so when I went for the interview the lady that I found there <laughs> I'll never forget that lady uh, she was a, a little lady and then I went uh, remember I was not coming to actually work I was coming to visit my then husband uh, I was coming to visit him but I just wanted to extend more time like I wanted to come here and extend more time so the option was actually uh, we're gonna get a visit visa and then get married here okay that was many years ago a few years ago so when I went for the interview uh, the lady asked me uh, why are you going to the Turkey why are you going to Turkey and I was because I, <laughs> because I was in love <laughs> and I was like this lovey 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 stuff were brainwashing my my me like my brain like I was I was not even thinking straight i went there and then uh, uh, this agent did not tell me exactly which questions uh, i should uh, answer and which one sh like he did not uh, tell me exactly what i need to answer and what i don't need to answer so they asked me what is the purpose of you going to turkey and i was like i'm going there to visit my boyfriend 
you see that was the first statement i said i'm going to visit my boyfriend and then come back to uh to kenya and then uh the the next question was how long have you known this boyfriend what is his name and then i said and then they asked me do you have any evidence that he is your boyfriend and then i do you have any chat do you have any conversation and the baddest thing that i had done was that i had carried a phone uh, that had uh, actually that had actually uh, it was brand new and the conversation that i had with my boyfriend uh, was in another phone and also these phones are not allowed during the interview so they were with the security card so i said yes i have on my phone and then they asked do you have apart from the phone do you have any papers or any pictures because my boyfriend had sent me some pictures of him and uh, with the kids and the mother i just showed him himself like i, sh I showed the picture of himself and then they asked me how long do you intend to uh, stay in turkey i said i want to go for one week and then come back and then they asked me do you have any uh, work here are you working here in kenya i said yes i'm working uh, and then they asked me what is your job you see how the devil is a liar <laughs> i said i'm working uh, selling uh, reselling used cloth mutumba if you are kenyan you will know <laughs> Of course, that was uh, my uh, part of my job. But I was I was doing that when I was still in Kenya, and also I was working in a cooperative, uh, like I was wa working in a company. Its name is Obit, and then uh, the salary was not too much high. So, I said, uh, when I'm done with my job in Obit in the company, normally I have a shop that uh, I sell used or reused clothes and then they ask me how much does your shop uh do what how much does your sh shop actually make in a month do you know what i said i said twenty thousand. you see twenty thousand kenyan kenyan shillings that is approximately around 19 uh right now around 19 uh, 19 19 around 190 uh, usd dollars so they they told me okay it's fine they act, actually checked my papers they act, they checked my documents and then they told me uh it's fine you can go we will call you back when your visa is ready i was super excited super 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 excited i went home and then told everybody ah this interview i have passed it like i have passed 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 <laughs> <laughs> remember it was on uh, monday on thursday i received a call from them telling me to go and pick my my documents and my visa like, no 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 they just told me come and pick your passport and then i went when i went they handed me my passport and they told me the visa was denied and i tried to ask that lady why was it denied and then he told me according to what you said and according to the papers we received we found out that your bank statements and also the amount that is in your bank is not rhyming what you have said and also we have conducted the bank and they say that the amount that is in the bank in your bank that you have submitted is not the same as indicated here and that is why we deny you the um, we deny you the visa like the visa was rejected and then i just said oh my goodness and then i went home <laughs> crying <laughs> i called my boyfriend this is now my husband i called him and let him know that the visa was denied you see that's how my visa was denied part of it it was my fault part of it it was my uh, the agent's fault okay so this answers the question that one of my subscribers uh, i don't know your name i'm gonna leave it here um if you're going for an interview especially uh, this interview that requires question like of course they're going to ask you try as much as possible not to twist around the subject if you're going for visit just let it be visit make sure that the papers that you are giving out you are going through the so my conclusion on this video is that when you are going for an interview be it a u.s interview be it turkish whichever country you're going to 
always try as much as much as possible to be sure of what you are saying and also the document you have gone through the documents you know each and every document that you have submitted remember when i actually was given these papers i just went through and i was asking my uh, agent like how how comes it is two hundred thousand? Uh, I won't be able. Like I'm not making this kind of money. How will I prove this? And the agent was like, No, don't worry. We already known uh, someone there. You won't be asked a lot of questions. And when I went there, they asked me a ton of questions, and I was like thinking that I passed, only to find that I failed. Okay. And even if I could have said that it is two thousand two ha like two thousand dollars two hundred thousand Kenyan shillings, still there was a problem because what I said was not rhyming to what the agent had told me, like the document that we had submitted. Okay, when I finished that interview, I went back home. I cried. I I, I felt bad because it was rejected. And then just I accepted the result and went uh, to my normal working. But after one week, I got a job in Qatar. And that is how I started my journey going to Qatar. And from there, I applied for a work permit visa and it was accepted. If you want me, uh, if you want to hear this story where and how I used, uh, like um, how I, I reapplied or how I applied for Turkish work work visa that is work permit um if you want to hear this story uh, like this video subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section so that i can make this kind of video i don't want to make the video too much long of course it is already long uh if you're liking my content like i said do me a favor just subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next i'm gonna do my thing finish up my cooking until next time again i'll see you Bye bye. Here, yeah, as usual, if you want to make trouble and say bye bye, can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Say bye bye. Sometimes I'm selfish, get jealous.